We are going to get straight into this video and I'm going to show you the two main things that I think is important to mass proof your makeup. Now get a gripping primer. I have the Milk Cosmetics Grip Primer and look at this. I got it on my birthday on October 6th and look how little bit I have here. And I have like on some days when I know I'm not going to go to the store at all and use a mask. I don't use it I'll use like a different primer but either way if you're wanting your makeup to last all day this is a primer for that now the other thing that you need is a spray and this is a milk makeup hydro grip set refresh spray this spray works so well to have your makeup stay on and not um, get onto your mask so I um, tried doing this um, mask free makeup with morphe spray and that one works really good as well as long as you also use this and then you spray with that but a little bit more comes off on the mask than with this then with this i actually almost had like nothing come off on the mask which at the end of this video i will show you guys so that you can see what it looks like i have a mask right here hasn't been used at all and so we're gonna put it on once I'm done with my foundation so you guys can see how well it works the foundations that I'm using is two it's these two right here and that's just because I like full coverage foundations and I have a oily combination skin really actually oily in the t-zone so this one works really good for that but I tried this mixture and that is my current favorite to use right now because um, my favorite favorite foundation is the Dose of Colors but I'm practically waiting for uh, Black Fridays to see what kind of sales they'll have so I can get it at a decent price. Um, this color I use for the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is the 107 as you guys saw right there and then for the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydro, wait, Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I don't know if that's the full name because uh, I know I had they have like another one that looks in a different bottle that says pretty fresh. And the color I use for this one is Medium 100W. So what we're going to do, I don't want to, um, we're going to put just one squirt. I'm going to try to make sure, I'm actually going to put it right here and put that all over my face. I'm getting the NYX, next one that I'm going to try that it's a, a gripping primer is from NYX Cosmetics. I already ordered it from Ulta. I'm just waiting for it to come because I was running out of this one. So I can kind of compare it to this one. But most likely, um, if that one doesn't work that well, I'll probably be repurchasing this one. And it's that small one. It's um, $15. Just make sure you get it everywhere. Make sure that you especially put it right here on the nose where that um, that part from the mask goes right there and holds on to. And then around here and around here, make sure that you have it. Even right here around the chin because, you know, like that bottom part will go here so that your makeup can stay on there. So once you have that on, I squirt or I just grab a little bit of this on the back like that. This one's not runny at all, so I like to put this one on first because this one's a little bit more runny, so I have to mix them together once I've done that. So I put it on top and then I mix it a little bit with my finger and then do like some little dots on my face. In order to not make this video so long, I will have to, I don't know how to fast forward yet. I'm learning, learning how to edit so that maybe these parts I can fast forward. Now what the primer will not do is cover any pores. Let's see if you guys can see how when I put it right here, you see, you can see my pores right there. It does not help with pores at all. So I might, um, start trying it out with like a pore like on top like in those areas after i put the gripping but i don't know how that's going to work so i didn't want to do that in this video i haven't tried that oh what i was saying was that i will cut some parts out you know that are not too important as far as like 
once I start pounding my makeup on, seeing the whole thing, I'll have to edit some parts out. That's all I'm trying to say. Hopefully I do a pretty decent, decent job. And I promise you guys, I'm trying here with the whole editing. Honestly, for the longest time, the reason I wouldn't do videos, even though like I wanted to, um, is because of the editing. Wish somebody would edit for me. So I like to spray with the Mario Badesco spray, but necessary, it's not necessarily this one. You guys can use another one as well. Um, so yeah. And then we're just gonna pound. I feel like if you spray, especially um, when the makeup starts getting dry, mm, it helps it move around better. Now, since I did my eyebrows already first, I put a little bit more of this foundation on my hand, just a little bitty uh, squirt here. And then I used the MAC Cosmetics 252 brush. I go around the brows on the top. Like that. Because I try to stay a little bit, since they're already done, when I'm using the beauty, this is not a beauty blender, this is from Bedallion or, oh, what do I always forget the name of this? Billion dollar brushes, sponge. And when I go around, I go just around this area. Like I don't get too close to the eyebrows so that I don't mess them up since I already did them. And so then I go closer around with this. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I use my concealer. Right now I'm just gonna use this one because otherwise I do too much. Like I've been trying this other method out and I use three concealers. I don't wanna do all that for the video. So I'm gonna use the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer and 50W from Urban Decay. And I put a little bit here and it's not because I want to highlight, it's just because I feel like it looks darker. As you age, like in my skin, it's obviously a little bit sagging more. I hate even saying that word. Um, it looks darker here, so it just evens it out a little bit, I believe. So we're going to, first I'm going to do it with this, which I don't have to. You can just grab the sponge, but this is just the way I'm doing it. Again, the way I'm doing this is how I like to do my makeup. There are so many different ways. And you guys can watch so many different videos here on YouTube. And we all have our own methods. Like, for example, I'll try, like, all these different ways of doing my makeup. And I see what I've seen just what I like most and what works better for me. So that's what I believe that you guys should do. If you guys should do is try different ways of doing it and see what works best for you. I like using the sponge. You might like using a brush instead. And I might do one of another video with the brush just to show you if, you know, anybody is just wants, or if you just don't have a sponge and you wanna use a brush, I can, I can do that for you too. Now that I've blended it there, I'm gonna go ahead and go underneath Urban Decay here. You guys, I'm gonna look onto the phone camera here. You may think I use a lot. It's the way I like to do it because as you can see, as you saw, I have a hollowness there uh, and it's also darker pigmented there. So I'm just trying to make sure that I can cover it up as much as I can. I don't think like I don't think that it's perfect, but I'm just saying as much as I can. Now, I, I'm gonna go in with the brush first, and that's only because I feel that if I pat it like this, more of it won't come off. I think that the Beauty Blender takes a lot of the product off, and it goes onto the Beauty Blender, and then the coverage that I wanted is gone. So this is why I tried doing it like this because I've also done and then when I'm in a rush sometimes I just grab the beauty blender and I just do everything really quickly with the beauty beauty blender so you can still see the hollowness that's okay that's not gonna go away make sure that you blend on the around the edges here 
and that's for your foundation and concealer to blend or seamlessly between each other and look good now as you can see i think this is pretty good right pretty good enough but what i'm gonna do is try to minimize this hollowness just a little bit more i'm only gonna add a little more right here right there and right there after i'm done with that we're done with the concealer and we're gonna set it Now this is good enough for me. I'm going to go ahead and set my concealer with the Laura, Laura Mercier translucent powder in honey. And I just put some on my sponge here and go underneath like this. See that? And then go underneath the other area. And I'll put just a little in those areas that I put concealer as well. And this is how I do it. I'll put just a little here as well. I don't bake, so I just put it really quickly. I brush it off. Now that I've done that, I set my whole face with the MAC Cosmetics. And I think setting your whole face, if you don't use like a MAC fountain foundation or something that's a powder for the rest of your face so that um, there's no, you know, wetness or anything of that nature, we're going to go ahead and I think that basically this helps so it doesn't go on the mask too. So it could keep your makeup on. And the foundation one won't rub off. For me, this helps me for the staying power of my foundation so that it can last all day, whether you wear a mask or not. Okay, so that's my foundation and you can call it concealer routine as well. Now I'm gonna go off camera, do my eyes, do the rest of my face, and at the end of the video, I will show you, I will put the mask on and we'll see how everything worked out, okay? See you on the next clip. All right, friends, so I finished off my makeup, as you can see. I will let you know what I used on my lips, and as far, actually, I'll let you know here, but I did do a tutorial on this eye look, and you guys will be able to see it here on my channel. I'm not sure as of right now which one I will do um, basically post first. On my lips, I use the ColourPop Lippy, ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3, and I use their Lux Velvet Lip in Fatal. It's very comfortable on the lips. I really do recommend this. It is $8, and then the this is $6 from ColourPop. Um, very good prices with them, and they have good products. Therefore, so here's the look. Let's go ahead and then I use this palette and you will be able to see it in the tutorial. Let's go ahead and put on the mask as I said. You guys see it's clean. I'm expecting the only area that you might be able to, hopefully it's right, the only area maybe around the nose because I press around here. Okay, what should I do? Should I go wash some dishes, do something, hang out with the, the mask for a little bit just so you guys can see that, you know, this is, that this works? I'm going to do that, okay? I'll be back after a couple of minutes. I'm back. It's been like five minutes and I'm going to show you guys. Let's see how much came off. More than anything, this is not a liquid lipstick, so that's what came off. 
do you guys see any foundation I honestly don't even see any foundation I uh, very very little right here very like practically none there you have it guys this is my foundation routine I hope you guys really enjoyed the video I hope that it helped some of you guys out and if it did um leave a comment come back to the video after you do the foundation routine and let me know how it worked out for you especially like those of you that are working all day let me know because when i've used it i only go maybe to costco and walmart to run my errands i come back home so i don't have the mask on for eight to nine hours i can't attest to that but i would love for one of you out there that do have you know either a nine to five or you go to work for a long um, shift and you come back home i'd love to know how this worked out for you and until the next one guys thank you for watching my video bye